Hi guys, my name is Robert de Bok. I work for Adfinis and today I'd like to show you a bit about Ansible blocks. Blocks are useful to organize your playbook or your task list, uh, but there's a few catches that you need to know. So if you've never seen blocks, let's introduce them. So this is a playbook. Very, very simple. It runs a single job and that single job uh, expresses uh, something, nothing special. A vars, let's give it a variable. My var uh, Robert. So let's just have a look. There's no block here. This is just uh, get familiar with uh, a playbook. Yeah. So job run one. Job one ran Robert. So if you look at the playbook again, this is it. The Robert comes from the variables and uh, introduced here. It's a job. Nothing special. Let's add a condition as well. When, and typically you would have something like the operating system is Ubuntu or something. In this case, I'll say yes, when yes. It will just run, nothing special. That condition is met. Um, and now, what if I would have a very similar job? Copy paste, call it number two. And now I have these variables and this condition again and it's becoming longer and I see a lot of duplicate codes. This will work, there's no problem with it and there's actually a small benefit to it that this is just very very simple to explain. The drawback is that this uh, code is getting longer and longer. So this is about the time to introduce uh, blocks. Well, let's add one more thing and notify and let's notify uh, x, whatever, it doesn't matter. And this too, if that ever happens, notify x handlers. Let's make the handler name x debug. Wow. Message. I am a handler. So let's run this. This should run two jobs, uh, two tasks, uh, and the handler. Uh, did I say change when? No, I should, so debug is not changed automatically. Yes. It's always changed, basically. Uh, normally, you could expect um, something like a configuration here, which is changed automatically. In this case, we're using debug, which is typically not changed, so we're forcing Ansible to say it's changed. So I expect two tasks to run plus the handler. Uh, but as you could see, that's a lot of code. Indeed, job one, job two, both triggered a single handler and that runs once. Exactly as, uh, as I would expect. But if I were to see this, I would probably say, okay, it's time for a small uh, refactor. Let's introduce blocks. Name, block one. And the intent here is to reduce the amount of lines or, or increase the readability. Block. And now you can indent this part. Four steps. I'll pick up this part, yank three lines and paste them here and also indent them. There we go. And now we can get rid of this part and the variables, and the condition, and the notify, and the changed one. Well, I'm not so sure about the changed one. Let's see that. I'm not sure if you can force a whole block to be changed. I guess this is probably still on this task's level. So, paste. So let's have a look. So it's, uh, it's less code because we share the variables, the conditions, and the notifiers. So if something changes in this block, uh, the note the handler is called. Let's have a look if that works. It does. So job one, it ran and changed something. Job two, it ran and changed something, and the handler is being called. So let's verify the block. If I removed, if I remove one changed when, does it still call that handler? I guess so. Yes. So this is the block. Job one, job two. If one of them changes, the handler runs. And you can also make that more granular, of course. So the notify is now set to the block, but you could still have it set be set to the task. 
So what's also possible with blocks is to use become uh, here, yes or no, of course, and to become user. Uh, no, I don't have that user, so this will start to fail. You can also use ignore errors, which I never recommend, but it's possible at least. So in other words, a lot of things are shared in these blocks. Uh, let's make it a bit more realistic. You can also have blocks in blocks. I don't recommend that because that the readability will go down, but it's possible. Name, block. Well, it's actually block two then, eh? yeah. And in there, block with a task. Name, job. Well, let's copy paste a bit. That will take too long. Yank three lines, paste, and change the annotation. Oh. And it's not two in this case, but three. So that will also work, uh, but it's getting less and less readable. So mm, try to avoid that. Finally, I think what uh, most people use a block for is uh, error handling. So let's reduce this a bit into smaller parts. And let's get rid of the vars and notifies so it doesn't matter. So for error handling, uh, what you could do. So imagine this is a failed task, failed when, yes, it, this will now fail. Let's have a look if that's true. Yes, it fails. My var, oh, that's actually pretty good. But let's, let's get rid of the my var. And run it again, run it again. Correct. So it runs, but it gives an error somehow. What you could do is rescue. Uh, use rescue rescue uh, so if that first job fails task fails job number one uh, then this task will run debug message job to run and this is not failed so what I expect here is a failure but it will continue with a rescue And that's true. So that job one failed, but job two ran anyway. And besides the rescue, there's also an always. So it doesn't matter if it's successful or not. Oh, always, always. Well, let's uh, steal that code. So it doesn't matter if this first job is successful or not. It will always run always and optionally run rescue when the first one failed. I think I made an indentation mistake. Let's have a look. Yeah, I did. The always is a bit too deep. Correct. So just to demonstrate that job one was a regular job in a, a, a block. Job two was the rescue. Because this one failed, job two ran, and job three will always run. It doesn't really matter if one is successful or not. So you could use this to agree to also cheat a bit. Eh? Imagine you have something that always fails, like, yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You could just say, uh, let's res rescue the task and say something like, uh, it's okay if the previous uh, task ran into an error or so. It's a bit of cheating, of course, eh? it should probably program a bit better, but it's possible. So that concludes the uh, section on blocks. I hope that's uh, helpful for you and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.